Hey guys, Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net and today I'm going to do a video that has been really heavily requested. Um, as you guys know, Verizon has blocked the use of Google Wallet on all of their NFC enabled devices, which in my mind is really stupid. Uh, personally, I have not used Google Wallet, uh, but I did try this patched version of Google Wallet out and I don't see why I haven't been using it. Uh, first of all, you get $10 free just for adding a debit card or credit card to your Google Wallet account. Um, all that does is it gives you funds if you want to use it. Basically what it does is it allows you to use your NFC chip in the back of your phone as a payment system through Google Wallet. It's, it's really an awesome thing and I don't know why I haven't used it more. Uh, but we now have a patch version. We've actually had a patch version for probably about six months and I just haven't paid much attention to it. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to install that patched version. It doesn't install like a regular APK. You actually have to replace a system file. And so you need to be rooted and you need to have Root Explorer. Root Explorer costs about $3.99 in the market. Might as well go ahead and purchase it for uh, other mods in the future. You're going to need it. Uh, so just go ahead and purchase Root Explorer for $3.99 in the market. Uh, you'll be glad that you did. Uh, once you're rooted and you have the Root Explorer, the patch version, it allows you to use this on any device with NFC on any carrier. It, eliminates the device check it also eliminates the carrier check so you'll just be able to use Google Wallet freely uh, so what you want to do is head to the link in the description go ahead and download that patched APK and navigate to your root Explorer you're gonna to go to the SD card and then go to the download folder that'd be where it downloads to download folder you're looking for the patched version of that application so just hold that and we will copy it and then we're copying this to the system app folder so we'll go system app and we'll paste okay we have to mount read write and so now it's there uh, so what we'll do now is we'll hold this and we'll change permissions the only thing we want to do is uncheck that box there so we'll click OK and to install this we'll just reboot the phone and we'll just reboot the phone now you probably saw the screen flickering that's the ROM that I'm running it's the Jelly Whiz for the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the version that I'm running is a previous version and it has a little screen flicker so that has nothing to do with the modification that we just installed so once your device reboots, you will now have Google Wallet installed as a system app, and you'll be able to use it like normal. Of course, you can find all sorts of mods like this, ROMs, any kind of root and hack guides. You can find all those at droidforums.net. Tons of developers hang out at droidforums.net. So as soon as this boots up, you're going to go into your app drawer, and you should be able to find Google Wallet now. There it is. Now you do have to reboot. If you don't reboot, it will not install correctly. So make sure that as soon as you change the permissions, you reboot the phone. You'll go to Get Started and select your account. And it's telling me I need network access. So I guess we'll turn on the Wi-Fi data just to make sure we have a good solid connection. And now that I have my Wi-Fi enabled, it's going to add the account. Like I said, you won't have the $10 right off the bat. Um, but as soon as you add your card, you will have, you will have your $10. So it's going to ask for a password. Go ahead and enter your password to your account and make sure you get the correct account, the account that you actually want to use because it'll be stuck to that phone forever until you, of course, you uninstall it and reinstall it on a different phone. And then it's going to ask you to set a new pin. Uh, so you'll have that screen. Anytime you tap the back of your phone to a payment system, it's going to ask for this pin. So make it something that you can remember. I'm going to go ahead and set my pin now. So it asks you to. Um, it's it's going to ask you to input that pin twice, and then you'll see this screen where you can add your credit card. Uh, if you're able to, go ahead and add it now, and then you'll get your ten dollars. I'm going to select not now. Uh, you can actually add cards there. It has offers. Uh, so this is for like coupons and stuff that you actually you actually get coupons whenever you use your Google Wallet. There's some for American Eagle, Foot Locker, uh, Lady Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker. There's not a ton in here as of right now. 
uh, because NFC is not like the most popular thing ever. I was kind of hoping that the iPhone 5 would have NFC uh, and Google Wallet, and we know that as soon as Apple adopts it, it's going to take off. Right now, Verizon and T-Mobile are working on their own versions of Google Wallet for NFC. That's why they're blocking Google Wallet, because they want to put their own version out there. I really think their versions are going to flop. I think the only chance that we have at this working is if Google Wallet actually takes off and does something on every single device. If Google Wallet's on every single smartphone, I think it really has the potential to take off. But that's just my opinion. Let's see. It shows you your transactions. So if you click that, it'll show you everything that you bought out of your Google Wallet account. Um, it, if you have some credits from the Play Store, you can use that as well. Like I got $25 for purchasing a Nexus 7 towards the Google Play Market. That actually was $25 towards my Google Wallet account. So I can actually go to McDonald's and buy like a milkshake if I wanted to off that $25. Um, so you can just kind of use it how you want. But anyways, guys, that is Google Wallet for your Verizon device. And uh, like I said, you guys can find me over at droidforums.net. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. We're going to try to bring uh, videos to this channel on a regular basis. So make sure that you are subscribed here. If you like the guide, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.